Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're talking about the Great Reset. Yeah, that's right, the Great Reset. You already know what's up. You already know exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, what do you guys think about uh, these new green screen special effects, huh? All right, actually, I'm doing the walking and talking. <laughs> I'm sure you guys already know. Um, we're just walking up and down the neighborhood here um, as the sun is coming down. So if it's a little dark, um, I'm going to try and fix that, you know, later on in post editing and uh we'll see what happens there but anyways let's get on to it all right sorry is that what you didn't get in tune in for that so um let's get talking about the great reset well look guys i'm sure you guys are 1000 percent aware of everything that's going on especially by this point in the game you know what i mean where we're already you know pretty deep you know into 2020 um november i'm sure by the time you're watching this is like a week away or something um november of 2020 so we already had a crazy year okay and uh you already know what's coming forward is only going to get crazier all right so you I hope you guys are ready i'm ready you know i've already fucking you know uh made peace with it i already know uh where we're going and what's happening with all this and um it, I, I highly suggest you guys do the same now as you guys know you know on this channel you know i really like to talk about you know you know all of these things but i stopped talking about a lot of these things for a little while um not just because youtube banned me from live streaming but also because Bruh. also because uh um the fact that like you know hey you know a lot of the crazy predictions that i was making way back when actually came true and still nobody listens you know we're, we're in the shit right now and nobody's listening you know we're seeing zombies everywhere you know we're seeing the whole fucking thing fall apart and you know people just are ignoring it not everybody i see more a lot of people waking up slowly but surely but you know there's only so much i can do so you know what i'm gonna encourage you guys to do is that i'm gonna encourage you guys to go out there and start researching this yourself okay if you haven't already start doing so okay i'm sure a lot of you guys have and i can i i urge you and encourage you to keep doing it start searching about what's really going on this is the great reset the great reset that we've been talking about for fucking ever in the conspiracy community all right that we've been bringing up for a very very long time you know that we were going to eventually have a great reset and that great reset was going to bring many things and it's going to bring hunger and death and pestilence and a bunch of horribleness it's, 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 it's. but it was also going to bring a lot of riches and a lot of change and a lot of uh, interesting things and we don't know how it's all going to take shape but we do know that it's happening and coming our way. You know, it's already here. It's already happening. It started in, you know, early 2020. And this is not over. This is, you know, going to be for 20, you know, it's going to be, you know, for at least another decade, all right? With the 2020s are only starting. This whole thing is just starting. And um, all we can do is look at history. Like I've told you many, many times before. And by looking at history, all of a sudden, we are better equipped with, uh, you know, knowledge in order to predict what's coming. I mean, it's as simple as that. And, um, you know, right now, um, you know, what everybody should be doing is prepping in one shape, form or another. It's not too late. You know, if you're watching this and um, you still have, you know, pretty much everything you had except uh, that you're locked in your, in your house or whatever the hell, you're still good, bro. You still have a lot, all right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out any communist country okay we're not there yet okay we're very far from there even though i talk about that on this channel and say hey we're right around the corner we still got a while to go so with that being said oh look a barber and shit out here good i need to get my hair cut again you need to get my hair did um so speaking of which that's part of the things that you can do to prep if you already got a skill you know like something like that you know like whether it's uh informing people teaching people showing people you know something like being a barber something like you know many 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 things out there that are very useful skills if you know a lot of these skills you're going to be able to survive if you know knowledge you know you're going to be able to survive if you hold gold silver bitcoin you're going to be able to survive if you hold property if you hold a lot of fucking assets out there you're going to be able to survive and thrive all right but if you don't then you're going to be one of the many, many out there that is not just going to suffer, but it's probably not going to fucking uh, not survive much longer. You know what I mean? You know, um, we st the Great Reset still a while, you know what I mean? It was going to be a few years before the whole thing really, you know, takes shape. But, you know, <laughs> the whole thing is already here right around the corner. You know, just like I predicted, you know, the countries that are going to fall the hardest and fall deeper into this dystopian, you know, universe are going to be the first world countries. The more technology you have, the more first world you are, 
the harder you're gonna fall into this, okay? And um, and you know it because it's happening. It's in it's in front of your face. And if you don't know it, man, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? But that's the reality of it. So you know, even my friends that don't want to leave the U.S. You know, they're all of a sudden living really close to the borders, all right? Whatever border that might be, um, just in case, just in case. And um, I suggest again, even if you don't want to take the whole step of like living abroad and finding another country to survive this in, which is totally fine, you can survive it in the US. But as you guys can see here from these uh, Dago stats, and you're probably wondering, well, who's Dago and what are, what are these, uh, what is this? You know what I mean? Well, you know, Daigle.com is a huge military contractor. They're one of the biggest, most influential, um, you know, government contractors out there, period, end of story. And, uh, you know, basically what, uh, what they're saying here on this website with the numbers that you're looking at right now is the fact that the U.S. population is going to drop by a lot. Again, as you see there, all right? And um, if these are their predictions, if they are government contractors if these guys you know that are government contractors and uh, arms dealers you know the ones that make all the guns and and uh, airplanes and jet you know carriers and uh, tanks and all that shit if this is their prediction and their you know what they think is gonna happen with the market well why are you still in the US hey guys this is the website I was talking about um, but it's actually changed since the last time I came here in fact as you guys can see this is what it looks like but it used to look like this. I had to go into the Wayback Machine in order to find, you know, what the website used to look like. Why? Because as I went through this website, I realized that um, the information was not current. The information that I was going to show you was not there. And what was the information I was going to show you? Again, I had to go into the Wayback Machine just a few months ago. They changed this recently. Um, and um, in the Wayback Machine, as you guys can see, there's a website that gives you, um, you know, the ability to go check out websites before they update it or whatever. Anyway, so as you guys can see here, I'm going to show you again in a little bit more detail, but this is what I was trying to show you here. Um, population of uh, the U.S. forecasted for 2025, 20, 100 million. So either we're losing 100 million or it's going down to 100 million regardless this is happening all right so let me get you back to the video this is something that if uh you looked at at any point before 2020 you know you were already automatically saying man you know this is super conspiracy bro what is this why are you showing me this this is uh i'm not believing it but after the 2020 that we've had after all the money printing after you know um you know all the insanity that's happening all around the world and beyond um, the things with China, the things with, you know, I can go on and on. Um, is this uh, is this not believable anymore? No, it's actually 1,000% believable. All right. Um, and we don't know, we don't know how this is. Oh, look at that, church bells. Look at that, how beautiful. Let's take a moment. Oh, that's it, I thought it was gonna be more. I think they're, now they're fucking with me, I think. Let me see if we can see it up there. This is basically saying the time has come. I don't know how much more clear, all right? As the bell toll rings, right? So look guys, again, I don't wanna be a fucking doom and gloom guy, but you know, again, it's pretty obvious that something's gonna happen. Whether it's civil war, whether it's World War III, whether, whatever the fuck, something's gonna happen. Obviously, there's something's also happening already, you know, with the whole um, new normal, um, with the whole idea of uh, the great reset. You know, they're resetting the monetary system. They're resetting um, the way humans do, you know, day-to-day -day life. And so, and they want everything to be electronic. They want everything to be under control. They want all these things. And again, I've already talked about this many times. If you're in a first world country, you're already tied in to the system and you're, you can't get out. You're fucked. You know, you're stuck there for, you know what I mean? Because, you know, again, you're electronically stuck there. And um, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're watching this, you know, from a first world country, then you know exactly what I mean. That you cannot, 
you know, untie yourself, you know, untether yourself from the system. And, uh, you know, if I'm where I'm living right now, this is considered third. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, this is considered a third world country, right? Right. Well, I'm, cons I'm considered to be living in, which is I'm in Mexico, so I'm considered to be living in a third world country. The reality is it's more like a second world country. But if you really want to look at it, it's more like a first world country. But anyways, this country, because it is not inter intertwined with the system, again, 85%, 90% of the population out here. Hey, let me get a little more light. 85 to 90 percent of the population of mexico is still cash only they don't have a credit card they're not into the electric electronic system or anything like that you know they're they're slowly getting on there but again we're, we're in mexico it's not gonna it's not gonna be overnight it's gonna be a while while where you're living you're already in the system they've probably already paid to visit they're fuck they're bothering the fuck out of you and i can go on and on you know as to you know, the invasion of privacy, the invasion of freedoms, the invasion of everything that happens to you on a daily basis out there. Um, and yeah, you know what I mean? All I got to say is that, you know, it's already there. You know what I mean? Uh, no matter who's president, um, they're going to bring in one form of, uh, you know, again, you know, one form of uh, communism, nationalism, fascism, you know, socialism, you know, all that shit's already here. You know, Trump is communist socialist. He's... Uh, giving away free money okay come on now he's uh he's giving a lot of free money away with the defense protection act he's taking over con uh, corporations and 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 again you know i can go on and on i mean most of you guys already know you know social security and uh, you know social programs you know um socialism okay but i digress you know what i mean just because they call it democrat the, the democracy doesn't mean that it's not what it really is and remember our country is really supposed to be a republic anyways i digress okay we were way past that point okay we're at the point now where unfortunately the united states of america like canada like australia like europe and like many other countries that are in that same realm of uh, first world country um you guys are already again you're outlawing you're outlawing cash you are integrating everybody into the system. If the people are not in the system, you might as well not exist. Even the bums in the US are in the system. And I can go on and on. But since out here, and there's many countries like this, where you're not, not just, not just are you not in the system, but nobody's on the fucking system. And the whole thing is still very decentralized. And the people out here see what's happening around the world and they're scared shitless. And do you think that all of a sudden they're gonna be able to sell the average American, I mean, do you think that all of a sudden they're going to be able to sell the average Mexican out here um, into using all of this awesome te crazy technology when they see countries like the US and Canada and Australia fall into techno you know tech uh, what is it technology technological slavery like real technological slavery no way man no way in a million fucking years all right so and again there's many countries like this out here you know and I talk about India a lot too you know India is another country in which you know there's no way in hell um they're gonna fall into that because you know they they're building it for crying out loud i mean and they get they're gonna have the point i mean they're gonna have the opportunity to b not build not build uh you know what i mean to not build the oppressive governmental corporational um control system that they want them to build while in other first world countries the system's already built and you're using it yeah so yeah, guys, I mean, I don't know what else to say except that, you know, well, we still got some time to, you know, we got ways to, you know, I got a lot of things to say, but I'm saying the whole Great Reset thing, you know what I mean? Like, part of what you need to do is, uh, you know, watch a lot of videos out there that are really doing the homework, you know what I mean? That are really out there, um, you know, doing all the research and the hard work in order to show you what's really, really going on. So give me one second because I'm going to see if they have something for sale here. Get back to you in a second. All right. Yes. Awesome. I got what I needed. I actually had to walk down a little bit far um, because as soon as I was uh, about to start filming, as I walked out of the store, um, I realized, yeah, you're going to watch me trying to get this together here. Oh, my God. But anyways, yeah, as I was leaving the store, I realized, um, you know, I don't know if you guys can still hear the music in the background. There's a lot of music playing in the background. Oh my god, you know what? I think I'm just gonna carry it like this. 
forget it. Anyways, so um, yeah, like I was saying, you know, what I mean, you need to start getting ready for the Great Reset. So, like in my case, you know, I'm learning to live. I'm learning to live in another country. Now, granted, it's a lot easier for me because I'm Hispanic and I grew up and live in lived in Miami a good majority of my life. So, actually, living in somewhere like Seattle or LA was a bigger culture shock and change than living out here. You know, just honest. You know, so it's very different. But again, regardless, you know, I'm still learning to you know, be one with the people out here, you know what I mean? Whatever shape, form that is. So, you know, so for some of you guys, you guys have already lived abroad. So you guys already know how to, you know, live with the people and how to do all that stuff, you know? Um, for some of you guys, all right, hold on. Let me put you there for a minute. So yeah, I mean, again, it all depends on who you are. But the thing is, it's like, so for example, you know, maybe what you need is uh, maybe what you need out there is not necessarily to learn you know how to survive in a different country but you need knowledge on what's going on some of you guys might have a lot of knowledge on what's going on all right and um instead of sitting there in your mom's basement again just throwing a joke out there well whether, whether or not you're living there it doesn't matter the point is is that instead of just fucking sitting there in your ass knowing all of these things and saying, whoa, is me, what am I gonna do? Yada, 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 listen, man, it's your life. Take control of it, get the fuck out, or figure it out, you know what I mean? But there's a million options for you, um, and everyone's completely different, but there are options, all right? And uh, the Great Reset is here, it is not a thing anymore, it's not a, cons it's not a conspiracy anymore, it's not a, you know any of these things anymore this is a real motherfucking thing that is really motherfucking happening right now and it's up to you you know what the hell you're gonna do about it you know what i mean are you just gonna sit there and be you know one of the millions and millions of people that's gonna suffer and die or are you gonna be one of the ones that's gonna survive this and uh, your family lineage your last name you you everything about you and everything uh, you know that has to do with you um is gonna survive you know what I'm saying. Sorry, I know my English also goes sometimes. Um, but the point is, is that you know, you know, you actually have all the power, you know, in your hands. And um, now that you know that these theories, that these, uh, you know, that you know what's going on is actually a real thing, then it's up to you to figure it out. Look, I know a lot of you guys out there are like, oh, but I can't, you know, do anything because look at everybody that's uh, a zombie and everyone's wearing their mask and everyone's, uh, you know, wants a vaccine and everyone wants all this bullshit. Man, look, it's up to you, man. It's up to fucking you. You know what I mean? If you're going to fucking, you know, be victim and fall for that bullshit or not. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not wearing one. I'm not getting a fucking vaccine and none of that shit. You know what I mean? And so the same with you. You got the power to fucking, you know, take control of that. And what are you going to do? Hold on, I gotta scratch my foot. That's what I gotta do. All right, anyway, so what are you gonna do? How are you gonna deal with this? You know, how are you, you know, gonna move past this? You know what I mean? So, you know, that's the thing. You know what I mean? What you need to do is that now that you are fully equipped with the knowledge of what is actually going on, you know, with the Great Reset, that the Great Reset is just another name for the virus. It's just another name for the debt jubilee. It's just another name, you know, for, you know what I mean? Like, um, uh, you know, now they're using uh, global warming and the environmental crisis, you know what I mean? Just another name for all of these crises, just another name, another branding, another rebranding, another everything to try and make you swallow this, to try to make you, you know, believe this, to try and, uh, you know, create um, the zombies that they want, to try and create the, the you know, the individuals that they want out there that will very easy, very um, blindly and uh, very thankfully, you know, not just walk into the fucking slaughterhouse, they'll be running into the slaughterhouse. And I think something bit me on my ankle there. Good thing I'm not Achilles, huh? I don't gotta worry about my heels. Boom, boom. Anyways, boom, bust my ass, break my heel. Anyways, <laughs> famous last words, but no, man. You know, really, seriously, okay? The Great Reset is here, okay? You want to call it whatever you want, name it whatever you want. Um, think of it however the fuck you want. But, you know, the reality is, is that all of these theories, all of these fucking insanities that were, you know, thought of as a one thing that was going to probably happen. Look at these kitty cats. Hey, guys. <laughs> Um, this is a reality, guys. 
This is actually really happening. You know what I mean? Yeah, all these kitty cats. That's really happening. No, actually, they're great reset. Um, and um, you know, the great reset. You know what I mean? Like, come is gonna is was gonna come in many, many you know shapes and forms and all that good stuff. And um, you know, all the things that are happening now. You know, it's all part of that. So, for example, you know, a lot of people are like, oh my god, Bill Gates is gonna fucking shoot a vaccine in me and it's gonna have a microchip and shit like that. No, man, no. The microchip is already in your fucking pocket, okay? It's your phone, all right? That that phone and uh, all the things that you do already, listen, man, you're, you're giving them all the information. You're willingly, you know, acting as, uh, you know, willing and freely participating into this uh, situation. And you are actually, you know, already inserting the microchip up your ass every fucking day, all right? So... Again, you gotta rethink these things. Now, I'm not fucking sitting out here and saying that Mr. Bill Bill Gates out there is a fucking, uh, you know, uh, a fucking angel. He's definitely not that. But we also gotta rethink things, okay? Maybe he just wants to stick the real vaccine in you. You know, meaning maybe what he wants to do is that he wants to cure people that are not sick by sticking them with a virus that will make them sick and kill them. How about that? Have you thought of that? Maybe it's just simply as that. Maybe he just wants to fucking shit, stick poison inside you and kill you. I mean, again, how it works is like this, you know, people willingly put that poison in their body, you know, whether it's through, you know, um, potato chips, through watching propaganda, through a prick of a needle, which comes in many shapes and forms as well. And I could go on and on. All right, guys, so, you know, basically just get with the program. The great fucking reset is here. Either you're a zombie or you're not. If you're not thinking like me and getting your shit together, ready, whatever the fuck it is, then you're a zombie. The, the, the good thing about this uh, zombie apocalypse here is that even if you're infected with the zombie disease, you can shake it off, all right? So shake it off, all right? Again, you know, even Trump got cured, okay? <laughs> no, no, but seriously. I'm being I'm speaking realistically, you know what I mean by this, you know, this uh, virus is really the fear and all the, you know, psychological warfare that's com is coming because of it. So, you know, you have the ability to fucking shake it off and get your shit together. It's not too late. We still got a while to go. If you don't believe me, check out the rest of my channel. Check out everything I talk about on my channel on a regular basis. We still got a ways to go um, again, you know, for the whole thing to come apart. You know, basically what needs to happen is that we need to hit hyperinflation. And we are very far from hyperinflation. We'll be talking about that more in future episodes because, you know, we talk about that here on this uh, channel. But I'm trying to spin things, you know, so they're easier to fucking understand. There's this dog over here. You know, he's not enjoying my videos. Hey, hey. He's not enjoying my videos. <laughs> so, you know. He's fucking barking. No, but anyways, no. Um, I know you guys all, most of you guys enjoy my videos, but even me, you know, I'm trying to fucking make better and better content so it's easier and easier to understand. Um, so, because if you don't understand it, then, then you're, then, you know, it might as well not be watching anything at all, you know? So, you know, and again, you know, one thing is, one thing is listening and one other thing is, uh, you know, one thing is, one thing is hearing and another thing is actually listening to what's going on, you know what I mean? And so, you know, with that being said, Man, by the way, they sell bread, amazing. But the point I'm making is that it's up to you. It's up to you, okay? Um, you need to do the work. You need to get, get off your ass. You already know what's going on. And if you don't, then you gotta educate yourself on what's going on. Stop playing the victim. You already know we're all fucked. But if you know that some of us can actually make it out and survive and be totally fine, then I guess we're not all fucked, are we? The only ones that are fucked are the ones that are choosing to be fucked same as that ever was <laughs> you know pun intended so guys thanks again for watching today's very short episode walking around the neighborhood getting some plantains talking a little bit about the great reset we're going to be talking way more in depth um later on about this um you know behind the green screen or some shit like that give you guys a little bit more knowledge but really what you need to do is that you need to go out there and really start educating yourself on this okay there's tons of people out there tons of uh, people like jeff berwick um the colbert report uh, and i'm not talking about the steve colbert i'm talking about the you know the colbert report you know what i mean like this guy does really really amazing work on there um and all that good stuff and uh there's so many people out there that really make amazing work to dedicate 
have dedicated their whole lives to researching these things and uh, really putting it out there, you know what I mean? So that everybody has all the evidence and there's no more excuses, you know what I mean? Like I said, not only is all the evidence out there because of people like Julian Assange or you know, because of other individuals out there that have done their work, you know, like a lot of other YouTubers and a lot of other journalists and a lot of other people, you know, that have not been believed for a very long time. After everything that's gone on this year, how can you not believe anything anymore? If you're choosing not to believe, you're just in 1,000% denial. Some shit's going on. It doesn't matter what's going on, but something's going on. And it's uh, called the Great Reset. And uh, you need to figure out how to make sure you survive this, all right, and thrive. So guys you already know the deal if you like this kind of content don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more and imp more importantly than anything else please stay awesome thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye